Hey guys, Elon Musk and the X team just dropped Grok 3 and it's already breaking the internet. Now I've been experimenting with this AI over the last couple of days and it's faster, smarter, and it can now predict viral trends before anyone else, which is very powerful. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how I use Grok 3 to find a viral business idea in a matter of seconds and why this might be the biggest AI tool for entrepreneurs in 2025. Let's dive in. Hey guys, Grok3 just dropped and I have to say I'm very impressed. It, now, the cool thing about Grok as well is that it is a image generator. It has image generating capabilities very similar to Midjourney, ChatGBT, and other players in this space. But again, all being within one tool. So right now we're going to try to create a design for a t-shirt to try to give it some life to kind of show the capabilities. We're going to do a retro style with a cat with sunglasses, neon colors, and a 90s vibe and see what it does for us here. So let's click on this, enter that. All right, so as you can see, it's already generating for various images. And from my experience, this has been pretty fast. Let's see how long this takes. It's already coming through. Wow, guys, look at this. We already have our cat with a rewind to the 90s tagline. There is a duplicate of 90s, so that's a bit of an error. I personally like this version, though we need, would need to get rid of the <laughs> the second repetition of 90s. But that's really cool. Like, look at the neon lights in the back. You have your cat, but you could toss this on a print-on-demand item, whether that be a t-shirt or a mug. But as you can see, abilities of Grok are, is very cool, and we're able to do this right here within the platform. And the cool thing is, and that's what's very unique compared to, you know, ChatGPT or DeepSeek, is that it's plugged directly into Twitter. So you're able to get a robust amount of data from past tweets from actual people and get trending data that you can use at your fingertips to be able to inform your business. And I'm going to show you how. So let's just say that we want to find out in real time, what are the trending items on Twitter or what are trending topics that we can research, right? So I'm going to use a pre-made prompt right here. So we're going to ask it to search, search X and search the web to find what designs are trending for custom t-shirts in February, 2025. So being very relevant to what we're looking for right now. So we're going to click that. And as you can see, it's searching web pages. So based off its analysis from the web and trending discussions on X, as of today, they're seeing that eco-friendly and nature inspired themes. We're seeing bold typography statements, 90s nostalgia and retro vibes, tech inspired futuristic designs. It goes on and on and on, right? So. Already we have a starting point where we could start to dig in a little bit deeper. And this is based off of trending data as of today. So now we're going to go into a little bit deeper here. I personally love the nineties. So I think nineties nostalgia and retro vibes here makes sense. So I have another pre-made prompt here. Just want to plug this in and we are going to see why nineties nostalgia is trending. And we're going to use the deep search functionality to look more deeper into this. Use deep search to analyze why nineties nostalgia and retro vibes is trending on X and the web in February, 2025. Give me insights for a POD design. So just make sure first we're going to toggle on deep search here, and this is going to tell us more information on why this is such a trending topic. So let's check this out. Thinking and it's counting down here, going through the sources, as you can see, it's already populating and talking through all the sources is checking Wikipedia's and various websites. Look how fast this thing is going, going to t-shirt design on websites pop culture websites, referencing Rotten Tomatoes for 90s films. Wow, it's moving so quick, I can't even keep up with it. Already at over 100 sources, and we're only a little close to 40 seconds into the prompt. All right, so it's already populating down here. So now it's giving us like why this is trending. It says here, the trend of 90s nostalgia in February 2025 is driven by a desire for comfort and stability as people look back for a simpler pre-internet era. Both Gen Z and millennials are fueling this with Gen Z discovering the 90s through family and millennials reminiscing about their youth. This is awesome. Popular design elements, current trends include bold, vibrant colors, 
oversized fits reflecting on 90s fashion like grunge chokers baggy jeans and then recommended pod design they're telling us to consider a t-shirt with a collage of 90s symbols like cassettes cassette tapes video game characters paired with nostalgic phrases like rewind to the 90s 90s vibes only and so forth so really cool things here that you can capitalize and put into a design Again, this is really just an example so you can see like how you can apply this to your business. But again, just for the purpose of this, we're using a POD business model. Cool. So now that I showed you deep search, we're going to go into think. The think function actually goes through like rationale as far as coming up with particular ideas. So we're going to test Grok 3's think by figuring out like how much we should sell this product for, right? So I'm going to ask it a question if we should sell this for $20. So to test the think functionality, we're going to say, should I sell my rewind to the nineties t-shirt for $20, break it down, print costs, shipping and competitor prices. So let's toss that in and see what it comes back with. All right, so it's already thinking and going through its rationale. Now, very similar to DeepSeek and functions on ChatGBT, you could kind of see like how it's thinking. But as Elon said on the announcement video, there's more to it on the back end that they're not showing us right now because they don't want Grok 3 to be ripped off very quickly. So... What we're seeing, it just kind of gives us some kind of idea of what it's thinking, but not as far as all the details yet. So cool, we have our results here. So printing costs, they are giving us a typical range of seven to $10 per shirt. And we're gonna factor shipping costs. So it kind of, you know, it thought through all of the relative things we need to think about, five and $8 per shirt. And then as far as other expenses and factoring that as a $2 charge, eight plus six plus two equals 16. And as far as competitive pricing, Generally, there's a range of 15 to 25 at $20. It says that we sit in the middle, making it competitive. However, since our design is unique, we could potentially charge more. So that's awesome insight there. And as far as, you know, going into product profit calculation, selling at $20 would cost 16 would leave us with $4 profit per shirt, which is on the thin side of things there. So, and exactly it said that slim margins. And as far as pricing strategy options, from a psychological perspective, consider pricing 19.99 or 24.95 instead of 20 because of dot 99 or dot 95 often feel more appealing to buyers based off of research. So that's really cool that we can kind of get inside there to understand where we should be coming in with the pricing for our shirt. So again, just, you know, showing how the bottle thinks and how you can leverage that part of Grok 3 to help you strategize for your business. So in all the recommendation here is for us to charge twenty four ninety five, which will boost our profit to $8.95 per shirt. So really awesome stuff there so now that we went through creating the product in theory using grok now we need to think how do we promote it and the cool thing about having grok integrated with twitter or x is that we can create post copy and be in position to post that directly on the platform. So right now I'm just going to give it a prompt to create post copy for us. So I'm going to tell it to write a tweet ready post for my POD store, rewind to the nineties t-shirt, 280 character max casual and fun. So we're going to hit that. And as you can see, we already have our copy for our post ready to vibe like it's 1995 snag or rewind to the 90s t perfect for nostalgia lovers bold retro feels only 24.95 plus free shipping grab yours now and relive the good old days hashtag 90s vibes hashtag retro t so as you can see it incorporates all the trending information that we kind of picked up there so what does that mean that means that this post has everything it needs to get seen in front of the right audience as far as the tags that we're using and the verbiage. So really awesome things right there. Okay, so now that we've gone through that, how do you get access to Grok? So there's two ways you can get access and use the platform. You could either use it directly through your X account 
or you can access it through grok.com, which is its own standalone website. I prefer to use it natively within X, but you have the option of using either. It is a paid platform and currently you have to be a premium member to be able to use it. So as far as the costs that are concerned for premium, as a premium plus, you're looking at $40 a month. If you do that annually, you get a little bit of a price discount, but essentially you do have to pay to get access to the platform. Please note that they are releasing a Super Grunk, which is coming out really soon within the next week, which is going to have more capabilities, but also the capability to have audio interaction with Gronk where you could actually speak to Gronk and interact with it that way. So from an accessibility perspective, that's going to be great. And from a multi-tasking um, perspective, that would be great as well. So you could kind of use the Grok AI hands-free. Other cool things about Grok, from a chatbot arena LLM perspective, it's rated number one right now over a lot of the competition. So that's quite impressive to see so far and what's powering Grunt is the investment they've made in terms of their facility that's housing all the gpus and the power that's going behind this as you can see the project is called colossus and there are over 200,000 gpus that are being currently used to help power this thing so very impressive and i'm very excited to see where they go with this so there you have it, guys. To recap, Grok3 can predict viral trends before anyone else, tell you why something is trending with deep search, uh, generate content and designs instantly. This is a AI game changer for anyone looking to start or scale a business in 2025. Let me know if you try it. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more AI business hacks, um, be sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.